Right, when you're starting a new map, Cosplay will say, do you want the fields to be scanned automatically? Say yes, you do. Okay. Um, do you want the workers to earn wages? Yes, you do, because you want it just to be realistic. Right, so cosplay is scanning the fields in this map. Now, I did a little bit of this map already. Um, on this particular loadout. There's my tractor up there. I think it's important to remember that without cosplay you can still hire a worker on your fields um, so if you don't have it installed you've still got to hire a worker but the main reason to have cosplay is to drive the courses that you can create between your fields and travelling to silos to take your crop to sale and other things like that. Now, the other thing to note is that if you have your graphics settings any lower, um, I, I, I don't know what the level is, but because uh, I can have more Max on my computer because it's a gaming PC, but your, your mirrors won't show as you can see. It depends on how low you have your graphics settings. If you have them too low, the mirrors won't show the reflection. Okay. Uh, you get cosplay on by right clicking your mouse okay and you need cosplay on for the simple reason that this game I'll just turn the sound down is gonna be so boring because you're gonna be driving backwards and forwards over everything let's get rid of that you're gonna be driving backwards and forwards over fields driving them manually uh, if you have actually played this game to any extent you'll know that this first map that I'm on now is called um, I can't remember what it's called Bjorn Borg oh there Bjorn Holmes right so Bjorn Home is what it's called um, but it's, it is a small map we'll just put this back in the farmyard here just for the, net, for the time being um, get used to using number 9 and seeing where your orientation is as you can see where the flashing icon that's where I am next to the chickens in my main farmyard cycle through your vehicles this one is going to be taking um, wheat to the windmill and the reason why we're taking it there is because if you go into your overview and you click sideways you'll also see another arrow that a lot of people don't seem to be using when I've been watching videos you see the freight yard, the grain elevator, shipping office, transport company, windmill and we've got wheat on board at the moment and you get 678 euros per ton uh, 546 603 so the windmill seems to have the highest price we'll go back over this way and click the other way and show you what the shipping office the grain elevator 661 the shipping office 603 and the freight yard is 437 so the best price we're going to get for it is at the windmill and the windmill from where we are is right over there okay so this is our um, main yard that we're in and we're working in fields 24 29 and 38 so <coughs> uh, the other thing that, that the game doesn't often show you get rid of the map I'm talking about the in-game tutorials at the start is that um, I'm going to pull this back now you just see me install this I'm going to go to a different vehicle in fact the one thing it doesn't often show you is that you can hire a worker with H Uh, 
and that's not me driving that as you can see I can jump out so because I've hired a worker with H it's now costing me money and it doesn't matter that we've gone down to um, I don't know if you can see top right it, euros minus 380 uh, the first thing you'll do is you'll get a accolade for an achievement for uh, losing money <laughs> so don't worry about that um, it's all about making money but if you take your crop to um, if you take your crop to the windmill then you will you will gain by selling the crops now you've been watching farmer George's farming simulators tips for the farming simulators 2015 game please visit the website at farming-simulators with an s on the end dot co uk um, for any uh, help and advice and tips there and look in the video description for any links and please give us a like and subscribe to this video series thanks